Hey Space fans, it's me, Tarek Malik at Space.com with astronaut Mike Massimino. Mike, uh, it's great to see you here. Great to be here, Tarek. Thanks for having me. Hello, Space fans. <laughs> where where are we, Mike? We are in something <clears throat> futuristic. Yes. Uh, this is a Mars rover uh, concept vehicle. Oh, it's, it's a, uh, you're calling it a concept the vehicle. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, just uh, an idea um, of what a vehicle might look like that would be used to explore Mars, uh, both to keep the take the crew places to scout and also to do research. So uh, so there's two parts to this vehicle. We are in kind of like the, I guess the cockpit. The business end, <laughs> the flying end, uh, yeah, the driving end you're, really you're, in this case. You're, yes. you're in the driver's seat, yep. looks looks pretty. And it looks like a driver's seat, looks, yep. Looks pretty complicated. You've got a yeah. lot of switches and everything here. How, yeah. how hard would it be to drive on? I don't know. I would you, like to try to find out, but uh, I you've think worked on the Hubble spacecraft. I have worked on Hubble. We didn't do any driving on Hubble. <laughs> I think uh, for for this uh, for driving something like this, uh, you have to watch out for the rocks. A lot of bumps in the road. Um, it's got a has a very interesting concept for the wheels. I, I think that that's probably what we would see on a, on a rover like this. Wheels that can go over just about any kind of terrain. Very tough to take a beating. Um, and I think they're planning uh, for something like this. The idea is you would go pretty slow. Uh, so you it would be mainly looking you, you know, you're looking to avoid obstacles, but also to find interesting things. Um, but I think taking it slow is the way they would they would go with this. Thing. Now, at least at first, I would want to keep an extra gear in reserve. <laughs> once, you, once you got used to it, you might want to go a little quicker. Yeah. So so you, you brought up a great point. That it's got it's got six huge wheels. We're on the inside in the the the, the driving compartment right behind our camera uh, is uh, a mobile laboratory that it could. Uh, 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 folks can do science. They've, they've got glove boxes in there. Uh, you would, it seems like everything you would need for yeah. a road trip on Mars. Yeah, that's the idea. You know, it's going to be heavily in, in heavily intense research on samples. You know, they're going to want to look and find things that are interesting, and then do some work on them. And what they did on the moon uh, the last time that we were on another planetary surface with the moon, you know, the moon, not a planet, but. Um, they, they bag all the samples for them back to Earth for analysis. Well, you're not going to have that luxury on a place like Mars, which is so far away. So you want to be able to do that same type of research and analysis on site. So that's why they have these uh, these glove boxes, which is kind of interesting because they would, it looks like the concept would be that it would be uh, a vacuum uh, situation. So you would take, you don't want to expose those uh, samples to any contaminants uh, from people, from the air, breathable air, the atmosphere inside the vehicle, which you're going to need to keep people alive. So you put those samples inside of the glove box and interact with them with, your, with the gloves to keep them pristine. So that's what that's what the concept is here. That, that's what this vehicle would be for, going out and, and getting samples and seeing what you found. Now this, this vehicle is actually from, we're here at the Intrepid Sea, Air, and Space yes. Museum. we're at an aircraft carrier. In, on an, air, yeah, an aircraft carrier. This won't fly. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah. In New York City, this vehicle was actually built for the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Center uh, as, as part of an outreach and, and you know, uh, uh, like education, education, project. inspiration, get people thinking. They get, they get, and yeah. and so this is part of their Summer of Mars tour. They're stopping here for the C, uh, uh, Space and Science Festival. Uh, Summer here. of Mars. Yeah. All so, right. Cool. So 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 this is like the last stop on a road trip from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida all the way up the coast. It's, they stopped in Washington. It stopped in uh, uh, Jersey City uh, at the yeah, Science yeah, Center across, across the uh, in Baltimore, yeah. uh, and now and now it's here in New York. We're, we're, I'm so happy to get a chance to see it, yeah. uh, but it's here this weekend for our readers, our viewers out there. If you are in New York, um, they're here at the, the Space and Science uh, Fest uh, here at the Intrepid. Oh, what's that about? Yeah, so uh, this whole week and going into the weekend, the weekend is where it really starts getting active. Uh, we have lots of things going on. NASA has a very big presence here, the biggest presence they've ever had. So it's the biggest festival we've ever had here at the Intrepid Museum. A lot of NASA stuff, a lot of displays, interactive virtual reality, things you can try out. And, hands-on learning. The vehicle here that we're sitting in, of course, is here to see as well as the other aircraft, the space shuttle, the normal stuff is, is the still space here shuttle well. enterprise, yeah. The space shuttle yeah. enterprise is here. Some special things that are going on, though. We have uh, some special guests coming. Uh, I'm going to be a part of a, a panel tomorrow on uh, space technology and its future with uh, NASA's chief, chief technologist and my friend Garrett Reisman. <laughs> Astronaut Garrett Reisman, one of my favorite people, is going to be here. We're going to be on a panel together tomorrow, Saturday, and I get to introduce another good friend of mine, uh, Shane Kimbrough, who's fresh off the space station. This is his first New York City appearance. <laughs> and I haven't seen him since he got back from space just a couple months ago. I'm looking forward to seeing him. And he's going to give a talk open to the public here tomorrow afternoon, Saturday afternoon. And then Sunday, we're going to have, I'm going to be part of a panel discussion. I'm moderating that panel um, on uh, the James Webb Space Telescope and Hubble and how we're leading into James Webb and 
what we can look forward uh, going there. I think I'm going to have a book signing tomorrow, too, if anyone's interested in getting a signed book. Uh, so another plug in there. I guess. Well, no, I, let them know but, the name uh, of your yeah, so book. So my book, Spaceman, came out, and you interviewed me for it That's very, right. very kindly. It came out in the fall, so I'll be doing a book signing here. But there's lots of stuff happening. There's a lot of interactive things to, to, to do and see. Um, some very interesting people, I think, for me. Uh, hearing what Shane just uh, experienced on the space station a couple months ago and getting an update on that. A visit to Six Month Adventure in Space is going to be exciting. And, uh, I think it's a fun weekend. It's a, it's a great weekend to come out here to the Intrepid Museum and learn something and have fun while you're doing it. So, so that's, that's really exciting. So if you're in New York City, you know, and you've got, you've got space cadets at home, or you are a space cadet. I, I, I know I am. You are a space man. So. Uh, oh, I like it. Thanks. I was going to go with space cadet, but I like space man. Uh, but do come on, come on down to the, to the, the Intrepid. Uh, Space.com will be here on the pier. Uh, which is, I think, free to the public, right? The people can come out. Uh, yeah, I think it is. I think it is. They you told might me. want to check. They, I don't want to have to get they, reimbursed anymore. They, they didn't tell me it was. All right. But 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 we'll we'll be here too. We we'll have a solar eclipse glasses for the August twenty one. Uh, uh, Twenty first solar eclipse. Those. You're gonna yeah. yeah you're gonna get want, get a couple because get some yeah. for the for the family. Yeah. Uh, we'll have solar telescopes too. Uh, where are you gonna be for the solar? Eclipse? I will be uh, in Charleston, South Carolina. I'm hosting a, a, a special for the uh, Science Channel that will air that evening. Oh wow! So I'm excited about that. Getting a chance to be right there at the, the I guess uh, the last the last point where it's gonna cross. Right, right before it leaves for the ocean, the, yeah. the last spot for the Great so, American. Uh, we'll wave goodbye to it. So wow. I'm looking forward. I think it's gonna be very exciting. It's it, something people can't avoid here in the United States because it's gonna get it, dark. It's gonna get dark from yeah. Oregon to South Carolina. Yeah. Uh, 14 states in all. Uh, like an hour and a half. Where are you going to be? You're going to be in, you said Carbondale, Illinois? Uh, I will be in Carbondale, Illinois. Space.com, though, we'll have people in Rexburg, Idaho, and Nashville, and uh, and Bryce uh, Bryce Falls, Bryson, Bryson, Bryson City, Bryson City, uh, North Carolina, too. We'll have people all, all along, but yeah. Carbondale, Illinois, uh, for the crossroads, they'll see a second solar eclipse, uh, total solar eclipse, in 2024. It's going to be really exciting. So, so, you know, do, do, do check it out. You'll see this uh, uh, Mars rover concept uh, vehicle here on the pier as well so many others I can see just out this window uh, the the Mars rover curiosity life-size one which celebrates its five-year anniversary on Mars on Saturday so now time flies it's, it's been a long time yeah so uh, a wonderful well Mike thanks Pleasure so much for, for being here um, I, I do want to ask one thing if you could drive on Mars yep. where would you uh, want to go go see uh, oof, I think I, I, I you know I, I I think getting getting the uh, opportunity to maybe look for water. They've identified some places near the poles where they think there might be some water underneath, and I think I think that would be very interesting. I think the whole planet itself would be kind of cool and just you know, getting canyoneering and so on. <laughs> but I think getting out there and uh, it would be it would be very interesting to see if we can find what's underneath that surface, particularly where it looks like there are some water flows and uh, maybe some ice, and getting seeing what that stuff really is, and what might be underneath there. Is there any evidence of any fossil formation or life or anything underneath there, I think that would be a really exciting place to go. That would make you a real life Martian, like from the, the film, but yes. uh, uh, you're already a real life spaceman. Uh, mm -hmm. well, thank, thanks again for, for uh, sharing the time uh, with us. My pleasure. And thanks everyone, uh, 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 do check out the, the festival and uh, check out uh, Spaceman as well by Mike Massimino, uh, a Hubble Space Telescope Repairman extraordinaire. Thank you. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for coming. A pleasure. Hope thanks. to see you out here this weekend. Bye-bye.